we're grateful to have all of you here for this announcement. I'd especially like to uh, thank our elected representatives and, and their representatives for being here this morning. Congressman Parker Griffith from the 5th District is here. Sandra Moon, the Councilwoman from the Huntsville City Council. Uh, LaFrieda Jordan representing Senator, Senator Shelby. Lisa Montgomery representing Senator Sessions. Daniel Tidwell representing Congressman Adderholt. And Dr. Mary Jane Kaler, uh, our State Board of Education representative here in uh, Huntsville. And a special greeting to uh, Lee Sintel, the Director of Alabama Tourism. Lee drove up here from Montgomery to be with us this morning. And I'd also like to uh, acknowledge and welcome Mayor Tommy Battle of Huntsville, Mayor Paul Finley of Madison, and the train over there. Uh, Dr. David Williams, the president of University of Alabama Huntsville, and also Judy Riles, the director of the Huntsville Madison County Convention and Visitors Bureau. You'll be hearing from some of them in just a moment. In the early 1960s, President John Kennedy challenged our nation to put a man on the moon before the end of the decade and return him safely to the earth. It had never been done before. Several years later, German rocket scientist Dr. Werner von Braun went before the Alabama legislature to ask for funding to build a space and rocket center here in Huntsville. That had never been done before. In June of 1982, the very first group of youngsters, hungry to learn more about the space program, gathered here in the Rocket City to take part in a new educational camp called Space Camp. That had never been done before. A few months ago, an energetic young woman came to us with an idea for introducing both science and art to a whole new audience of young people across the United States and across the globe. And after saying, what are you thinking? Uh, we kind of got accustomed to the idea and thought that it might be have some inter interesting possibilities for the youth around the country and around the globe. Jennifer will invite students and classrooms everywhere to create their own art. And she would assemble the 8,000 or so pieces into a giant quilt. And she would then wrap around the Saturn V replica behind me. That has never been done before either. But Huntsville has a long and well-established history of accomplishing first and of turning fantasy into fact. And so if all goes according to plan next summer, you'll witness yet another first here in the Rocket City. You'll witness one of the largest public collaboration art projects ever attempted. And the canvas, as Jennifer said, is the giant Saturn V replica behind me. We believe her project has the potential to attract national and even international publicity for Alabama and for Madison County. And it will help us to market our space camp and our other educational programs. And it will bring additional visitors to Madison County, which will boost the economy of both Huntsville and Madison. This project will overlap by one week our opening of Star Wars, where science meets some imagination exhibit. That's scheduled to open in, on June 25th, 2010. And next summer promises to be a very exciting time around here. Now there are still a few hurdles to clear and the, with the Dream Rocket project. We will make absolutely certain that we stay well within the weight and load restrictions on the rocket. We're looking at various methods of securing the quilt to the rocket without causing any damage. And there will be a special insurance policy that will protect the Saturn V rocket replica at the Space and Rocket Center and everyone else involved in the project. 
But the bottom line is very exciting. And we're very excited about this. And next spring, we fully expect to temporarily turn one of the seven wonders of America into one of the greatest works of art America has ever seen. So thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. Just yesterday, about 24 hours ago, I was driving down.